What is your favourite film? Oh, God. Uh, okay. Well, I mentioned The Graduate, which I love. Uh, I don't know. Let's. Can I have two? Yes. All right. I think it would be The Graduate and Ghostbusters. What's your favourite TV show, apart from your own? <laughs> Seinfeld. What's your favourite newspaper? Oh, God, it's got to be the FT. And your favourite magazine? Christ, kill me now. Um, what is my favourite magazine? Oh, I don't know. I, I like too many. If it pass, I haven't got a favourite. I just like too many of them. I mean, just, you know, I mean... Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, pass. I mean, I like I like the Economist. I like the Spectator. I like Vanity. I, I like the New Yorker. Am I allowed to have three? I'll have three. New yep. Yorker. Sure, sure, okay. Sure. If you can have Spectator, Economist, New Yorker. What's your favourite news website? Oh, ITV News. <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed that? Sure, sure. What's your favourite musician or band? Uh, Beatles. And your favourite editor? Favourite editor? Mm. Uh, I, I, I mean, it was Richard Lambert at the FT. What's the best new technology you've discovered over the past year or so? Oh, very new technology. Uh, that I've discovered in the last year or so. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, is there something I've discovered in the last year or so? Um... I don't think there is really. I mean, I've had a go on um, uh, our youngest VR headset, and mm. I hate it. So you okay. could say I've discovered oh, VR, but yeah. I hate it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, what gives you sleepless nights? Um, be- becoming irrelevant. What's the highest point of your career? I think, I th- honestly, uh, the most important thing I've ever done is set up speakers for schools by quite a wide margin. And the lowest point? I don't think I've really, I mean, my lowest point. I don't think I've really had a, uh, I mean, right, I, I don't think I've had a sort of lowest point. I mean, my problem is I just, you know, even when things have gone, you know, I'm, I suppose I, it's not so much a lowest point. But the thing that I find really depressing about where we are, I, I, you know, all journalists get things wrong, right? And I've got things wrong all my life, okay? As all journalists do, we're human, okay? Mm. I've always believed when you get something wrong, you own up, you say sorry, you correct, okay? In the old days, when you got something wrong and you owned up and you corrected, people would just basically say, okay, we're all human, we move on. Now, you know, if I make a mistake, I'll, I'll usually just put it straight out actually on social media and bizarrely you know actually owning up to getting something wrong makes people even angrier they won't people won't even accept an apology now it's so weird it's so depressing um and final question who would be your ideal dinner party yes uh, i think you can have three if that sounds okay okay are, there, are these from all history or now sure uh, all history i think Fine. all history all right, let's have a think. Who would be my ideal dinner party guest? Um, oh my god, this is quite hard actually. Um, so I have no idea. I'm just going to choose people who I, uh, at different stages, um, uh, okay, I'm going to say, uh, I'm just going to pick, I think I'm just going to pick three heroes, actually, if that's all right. I'm going to pick sure. Beethoven. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to pick Beethoven, Fred Astaire, and Paul McCartney. Okay. Oh, no, not Paul McCartney. Sorry, can mm. I change it? Yep. I'm going to change it because it's a toss up. I'm going to say, because I've already said the Beatles, so I'm going to say, uh, Beethoven, Fred Astaire, Paul Simon. Okay. Brilliant. Okay, well, thanks so much. Um, <laughs> I quite enjoyed the. I quite enjoyed the quick fire. That was great fun.